Hello friends, this is Cloud Computing 101 at Simply Clouded. And today's topic is horizontal scaling and vertical scaling. These are the two scaling techniques that we require in cloud computing and we'll see which suits our requirement. Let's take a simple example of a painter. Now imagine you are a painter named Mr. VM. You have been tasked to paint a house, a big house on your own. Now, what is the challenge faced by you? An unrealistic deadline. Mr. VM has been only given three days to finish painting the whole house on his own. Mr. VM starts working, but the heavy workload and timeline defined makes him quit. What does he require to be able to finish the workload in time? Let's look at the two strategies and how they fit Mr. VM's situation. Let's talk about horizontal scaling. If we add more equally skilled painters like Mr. VM to keep up with the workload and finish on time, if we add more VMs to his team, or horizontally scale his team. If we add additional friends, like I show in the representation here, he'll be able to finish the workload on time. This kind of strategy of adding more identical resources to a team to support the workload is called horizontal scaling. Now let's talk about vertical scaling. What if by a miracle, Mr. VM or Mr. Virtual Machine became more powerful and quicker than he is? He will be able to finish the workload on time on his own or vertical scaling. So in the representation here, I say that if Mr. VM becomes bigger and quicker, he'll save a lot of time because he'll have more power and speed to finish the work on time. This kind of strategy is called vertical scaling. Let's look at horizontal scaling and vertical scaling in terms of cloud computing. Let's imagine if I want to run my application in a scalable environment and I want to devise the best strategy for scaling my application. Horizontal scaling and vertical scaling. Horizontal scaling is scaling by adding more machines or more virtual machines to one cluster to support the ongoing workload. Vertical scaling means scaling by adding more resource to the same machine. Horizontal scaling spreads the load between virtual machines. So there are similar machines supporting, this, supporting the overall workload, whereas vertical scaling spreads load between CPU and RAM resources. I've written some examples of horizontal scaling, which is Cassandra and MongoDB. I've written some example of vertical scaling, which is MySQL and Amazon RDS. And that's the basic difference between horizontal scaling and vertical scaling. Thank you for your time, guys. Please like, share and subscribe for more.